Hello, my name's Mrs. Almany, and I'm going to read the story, The Three Billy Goats Gruff. It's a folk tale that's been around for many years, and it's, it's a story that I enjoy. Hope you will, too. Once upon a time, there were three brother billy goats, whose last name was Gruff. They lived in a beautiful place where the sky was always blue and a river flowed across the green, grassy meadows. One day, Big Billy Goat Gruff had an idea. Wouldn't it be nice to cross the river, he asked, and try the grass over there? Although this sounded simple and lovely, his brothers felt differently. Oh, no, replied little Billy Goat Gruff. It would be too dangerous. We cannot walk through the river because it is very deep and it flows so quickly. We would be swept away. Then Middle Billy Goat Gruff added, The only way across is the bridge, and the mean troll who lives under the bridge likes to gobble up goats. Big Billy Goat Gruff replied, I'm not scared of the troll. Let that nasty troll try to eat me. We'll see who wins that fight. Yes, but we are afraid, replied his brothers, and we won't be there to see you win, because the troll will have already eaten us up. You are much stronger than we are. Well, this certainly is a challenge, said Big Billy Goat Gruff. If we all want to make it across the bridge safe and sound, we will need a good plan. Let's put our billy goat heads together and figure this out. So the billy goats Gruff huddled together and came up with a clever scheme to get across the bridge safely. That's one of those unknown words we've been talking about during reading. And a scheme is a tricky plan that you come up with. Sometimes you come up with it to fool someone or to uh, put one over on somebody, so to say. When they were ready to try their plan, the three goats trotted across the meadow and approached the bridge, making sure to keep out of the troll's sight. Then the littlest of the brothers worked up his courage and walked over to the bridge alone. Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap went his tiny hooves as he walked onto the bridge. Suddenly, a big, hairy, googly-eyed head popped out from under the bridge. It was the terrible troll. Who goes there? He demanded in a booming voice. Who is trip-trapping across my bridge? And in a very small voice, little Billy Goat Gruff answered, it, it, it is just me, the tiniest of the Billy Goat's Gruff. I am all skin and bones, so I'm going over to the meadow on the other side of the bridge to fatten myself up. The troll reached up from under the bridge and gripped the railing with his gnarled hand. Well, I'm coming out to eat you, he said in a slow, low growl. Eat me, said little Billy Goat Gruff, trembling. Why, I'm not worth the effort. It would be silly to eat me before I'm fattened up. 
My bigger brother will soon be here soon. He's much fatter than me. You could eat him instead. The troll considered this and decided that it made good sense. Get off my bridge then. Skedaddle, he shouted. Don't come back until you are big and fat. And just as the goats had planned, little Billy Goat Gruff hurried away to the other side as fast as his little hooves could carry him. Then it was middle Billy Goat Gruff's turn to cross the bridge. Off he went, rumble, punk. Rumble, punk, rumble, punk, across the bridge. Who goes there? Rumbled the hungry troll, licking his chops. Who is that rumble punking across my bridge? It's me, answered middle Billy Goat Gruff in a steady voice. Oh, goody, said the troll, reaching out from under the bridge with his huge hairy arms. I am coming to eat you. Middle Billy Goat Gruff stayed calm. Eat me? Why would you want to do that? I am all skin and bones after a long winter with no grass to eat. In fact, my bones would get stuck in your throat. You should let me go to the meadow where I'll get fat. And just as the billy goat's gruff had planned, middle billy goat said, You should wait for my bigger brother. He is the biggest goat and will certainly satisfy your belly. And like before, the troll considered this and once again decided that it made good sense. So he shouted, Get off my bridge then! Skedaddle! Don't come back until you are big and fat. And he disappeared into the darkness under the bridge. Middle Billy Goat Gruff trotted away and met Little Billy Goat Gruff in the meadow. From where they stood, the goat brothers could see the bridge and waited for Big Billy Goat Gruff to finish off the plan. They watched as Big Billy Goat Gruff walked into the bridge. Stomp, crump, stomp, crump, stomp, crump. And just like clockwork, the mean and hungry but not so smart troll roared. Who goes there? Who is that stump trumping across my bridge? And he leaped onto the bridge with a single bound. Big Billy Goat Gruff and the terrible troll found themselves standing face to face on the bridge, staring at each other. Big Billy Goat Gruff narrowed his eyes and replied in a loud, strong voice, It's me, the biggest of the Billy Goat's Gruff. Then he lowered his head, so his horns were pointing right at the troll. He took a running start and charged. Kablam! Big Billy Goat Gruff slammed right into the troll with all his might. To the nasty troll's surprise, he was lifted right off his feet, high into the air, and thrown off the bridge. After spinning wildly through the air, the troll landed in the deep river below with his spectacular splash.
As the river's current swept him away to a faraway place, he grumbled and cursed the day he ever let the three billy goats gruff set their hooves on the bridge. The greedy troll was never seen or heard far again in those parts. Little Billy Goat Gruff and Middle Billy Goat Gruff cheered their big brother on from the new meadow as he triumphantly crossed the bridge to join them. Because of their determination, cooperation, and clever plan, the three Billy Goats Gruff had managed not only to get past the mean troll, but also rid themselves of him forever. The goats spent all summer long happily eating delicious green grass and dandelions in the meadow on both sides of the bridge. They could go back and forth as they pleased, and they grew to be quite plump. Trip, trap, rumble, clunk, stump, trump. Hooray for the three billy goats gruff. Chump, chump, chump. This story can tell us uh, it gives us a little idea of what it means if we need help, we have something to do that's too much for us. We could work together, be determined, and carry out our plan, and then we can get our tasks done. Have a good day.